fault. You've returned home a free man. Well, good to see you. Jackal has been busy organizing all of Stone Cold's business assets into easily accessible secret coded accounts. That's right. I knew it was the right decision to leave you in charge. Shall we drink to your return? No. We need to do some work. What's the assignment? We gotta track Franco down and bring him in. Man, I can't do that without you. I need you. prosecute him and put him away, and for that, I need him alive. Uh, since when don't we use lethal force if necessary? It's my case. I make the rules. No need to analyze further. When do these come off? Uh, when I tell you. I okay, do. well, I'm, I'm just telling you that I'm not going to die so you can take Franco alive. Well, I'm just telling you, you're still not getting a gun. I'll see my lawyer now. I think this is all going terribly well. I need you to find out what happens if if I escape. What happens to Michael? Hypothetically escape. Okay, Don't I know tell that me Dante that... is going to lose his badge. But will Michael be sent back to Pentonville? Nobody saw you. Oh, come on. Not a soul. Good man. You're not going to tell us where you're going, are you? I can't. He's afraid we're going to spill the beans to Tracy. No, 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 it isn't that. It's just that right now I'm not really sure where I'm going. I mean, I'm going to Zurich, do some bank business. But after that, I really don't know. Well, when you get to wherever you're going, give us a call. I'll come visit. Look at you guys. You are a spectacular crew. I love you all. You're amazing people. And you make the decisions that you have to make. I'm sure that you're all going to be fine without me. <laughs> but I'll be back as soon as Tracy decides that she wants me to make an honest woman of her. How come with all the times that you've taken off, I still don't know how to say goodbye to you? Because we don't do goodbyes. All right, so uh, while you're looking in on each other, take a minute out every once in a while and look in on Tracy, will you? All right, Tracy's gonna need someone to yell at, right? That'll be you. Yes, it will. I love you. Mm. Number one, son. Take it easy, Dan. Call if you need anything, all right? I will. Okay. Watch out for yourself, all right? Hundred bucks says love isn't the only reason Dad left town. You didn't really tell Steve that I was the only one for this procedure, did you? Of course I did. Well, you were stopping nothing to get back in my good graces. Well, you might want to wait until you're done before you get too cocky. The odds are against you. Well, that's when I do my best work. Mm -hmm. The odds are with the patient. Yeah, well, you made her a promise, so you know, don't screw it up. Well, that's not an option. Plus, I don't want to end up in suspension again. I felt like I was in 10th grade. Yeah, it was a lot like high school, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, well, when the when the patient's in recovery, you get to buy me a burger. Oh, and I beer. buy. I buy. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, how you feeling? Well, I'm a little groggy. <laughs> It reminds me of the 60s. You behave yourself. <laughs> I just hope Dr. Dimples is as good with the scalpel as he is with the rumba. <sighs> I'll be waiting for you in recovery.
The borders of Shirley's cancer aren't clearly defined. It happens with metastasized spread. It could be embedded in brain tissue. Well, it's no doubt. It's going to take our best work. We're just going to have to keep up. <laughs> You've been on suspension. You're rusty. If there's any problems, I'll cover it. Oh, dream on. I'm sure going to need our A game. And more. I've got the latest test results on Shirley. Cancer spread further than we thought. Welcome home, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. 